What's up, Torah? This year is entitled The Test of the Akedah, The Challenge of Akedah Yitzhak. The Gorah says, What was so challenging with Akedah Yitzhak was Avraham, such a nice man, such a Balchesed by his nature, always looking to help people out. So the fact that he goes ahead and he's sick from the Mila, he's not well, and he still goes ahead to help out the people that come to visit him, that's not such a test. That's part of Avraham's nature. That's who he is. He's a person that helps people out. A real test for Avinu is when he goes ahead and he has to do an act which would seem to be a very cruel act that totally goes against his nature. Such an act, if he performs that, because Hashem told him, now I know you know you're truly God fearing me, you'll do an act which goes totally against your nature. Not like all the chesed uh, that you've been doing till now. This is an act that goes head to head with everything that you hold by. And still you did it because Hashem commanded. That's the Gra of the Gom. Another possibility based on uh, Rav Kook, Kotoraya, where the fact is plenty of people are sacrificing their kids to the different gods. So if you think about what was the big challenge for Avram to do that, that's what was done in those days. So an answer may be based on Rav Kook uh, that when a person goes ahead and you have different cultures in the world that you have today where many extreme Islamic extremists for them to give up their child if he kills an infidel, kills a Jew, it's the biggest joy in the world for them. A video that came out a week ago, a mother interviewed where she is shepping such nachas and her son was a martyr trying to kill Jewish people. Her only regret is that she didn't go with him, he didn't take her with him, and she can't wait for the other children to join him. So this is a form of Jewish sacrifice. So it seems like it's not such a hard thing to do. This is where their society is today. The Islamic fanatic society is right there. So the fact is, when you have unbridled religious passion, where the part of us that wants to somehow get close to God, but is unbridled, is out of control, it will do anything. It may be more dangerous than all the taivas and all the search for covered and honor and the gashmios. Person just running after his own tavas and his own physical pleasures, he can stand his own little island and do his thing. Person with religious desires to get closer to God, but it is out of control. There's no system running it. It is just a free for all that is a disaster. Anything could possibly go, depending on the time and the climate in the society. So today in the Islamic society, the more people you kill and you go down with that, that's nothing greater than that, and that's their child sacrifice. Because it's unbridled religious passion. It could go anywhere. Ravram's whole philosophy was against that. His whole philosophy was, yes, connect to God. And this is a part of us in the Shoma that connects to God. But it cannot be just let loose. Or some, uh, unleash all these religious forces within us. They can just make the world turn upside down. No. It's a system that connects to God. Well, God will tell us how to go ahead and use all different desires and passions and mind and religious desires to get closer to him. But now, of course, we have a system of halacha, shulchan arach, where everything is guided. How to daven, when to daven, what kind of korban to bring, when to bring the korban. And if it's just anything we want, it's an ace zara, some free religious offering that we do without the guidance from Torah, from Mitzvah, from Hashem, it is Zara, it is foreign, it is disaster. So Avram's whole philosophy was, it can't just be anything that religiously you feel is a good thing to do. So therefore, child sacrifice was a horror. So it's only when Hashem, the one who guided him, not just to follow any impulse, but to go ahead and serve Hashem in a proper manner, as guided by Hashem, when Hashem tells him to do it, so this is against his whole philosophy, because whole philosophy was that don't just do things that might have some religious appeal but are not acceptable. But now Hashem is telling him, this is what I want you to do. So that, of course, was a challenge for Avram, and he stood up for the challenge. But of course, it's crucial to contrast Avram, where for him the whole thing was just so foreign to the other people in his time, or the time nowadays, where that's just a natural religious thing to do, and it was just different planets, Avram and the other people, Ahavdil, not to compare at all. And that's why he made the Akedah one of the greatest acts, one of the greatest heroic acts of mankind, where Avram showed his true commitment to Hashem.
שלום.